Hey guys, I'm LB, and Hugo B. Designer requested Gel is not always helpful V2 by Team Spin 210. Well, a little teleportation experiment. Now, this doesn't work with all skin types, so try to remember which skin is yours, and if it doesn't teleport along with you, we'll do what we can to sew you right back into it. I think that dialogue is from one of the vitrified doors for the vitrified doors achievement. So let's read the description. Gel is not always helpful of V2. Gel can sometimes be an obstacle. So I think I think what spurred this request was the fact that there's a paint fizzler in this map used appropriately, according to Hugo. If I remember, I think this re was requested in one of my live streams. Oh man, this cube is just this cube is just going in all kinds of places. So yeah, I think the idea is that the paint fizzler can wash off the cube. If I remember correctly. This is a... we're actually inside a science sphere out in the open. This is the kind of old Aperture style text that, uh, test that I like. But... It's really hard to, like, try and make a B-Mod theme like this. Because, you know, in the in the in-game editor, you always have walls surrounding everything, so you can't really do stuff in the open like this. Let's see, we have... Looks like... What does this motor do? Is this a drawbridge, or...? There's a light on here, though. I'm a bit confused about what this motor is for. Maybe it's just decorative. Maybe I'm looking too far into things. What does this do? Whoa! <laughs> wow, that was entertaining. Alright, let's see. It looks like... We'll want to shoot out at an angle. Also, what does this do? Huh. So this is just tutorializing the paint fizzler, I guess? Alright. Let's see, so... We put a portal there, right? And we do this. Yeah, that's definitely a scripted push. Ooh, alright. Oh, I was con I- for some reason, I thought this paint fizzler was horizontal, but it's actually vertical. That confused me. Also, is that end on a slant? That end is on a, on a slant, that is weird. <laughs> Let's see... Where's this little piece of glass for? It looks like we would want gel... here, right? There goes that cube again. Yeah. It also looks like the gel... Oh, wait, those are the same... pipe? Oh no, they, they split off from right there. Okay, I was confused about that. Looks like that button can... do something? Got the antline indicators on the wire <laughs> just kind of hung there. Um, what is this area for? Is that just the return path, I suppose? Yeah, because we can shoot over there. We don't want to come out of that because that'll just kill us. That's actually a really cool little return path spot here. There's a tiny little window cut into the wall here, specifically to let us go back there. Huh. This doesn't- this has no bearing on the gel over here, right? Yeah, no bearing on it. Okay. It's even got a little battery tape to it. Oh, there's a button there. Interesting. How might we reach that? Wow, that seemed like I got a lot more velocity than I should've. Alright. Well, there's... there's our bounce pad now. So how are we gonna get rid of that gel? I guess we should probably just go over there and press that button and see what happens, right? 
So... Let's go ahead and just walk all the way back around here. Alright. Whee! Uh... Excuse me, game? What just happened there? That totally was about to kill me. Let's- let's try this again, please. I would like to understand what I did wrong. Okay, this time it worked just fine. Oh, whoa! I've made a big mess of this. Oh my goodness. That was quite dramatic. Well, I think I accidentally leaned on the railing just a little bit too much. This sign is radioactive. <laughs> I don't know if I've seen that in a game before. That's absolutely hilarious. What do we have there? Okay, that didn't quite do what I was expecting. Oh! Oh! There we go. Whoa! That was quite a sound effect. What does this do? Oh, it recalls the cube. Alright. <laughs> I think that's a little bit wonky, but alright. Congratulations! The simple fact that you're standing here listening to me means you've made a glorious contribution to science. Well, guys, thank you so much for watching, and as always, I will see you all in another video. Goodbye!